The IBKR mobile app allows the investor to view their current margin use as well as show the margin requirement for a particular trade prior to it being submitted. This lesson will explore the various areas margin values are displayed in the IBKR mobile app. In this video, we are assuming a Reg T margin account. However, the tools displayed are identical whether the investor uses a cash account or a portfolio margin account. The impact on margin values, however, is likely to be different. Please also note that margin requirements are subject to change as determined by interactive brokers, as well as by changing market conditions. Let's start with a portfolio containing only cash. In the portfolio screen, net liquidity, or net liquidation value, which is the total value of all assets marked to market, is located in the upper right-hand corner. A margin matrix is located below in the details area showing key data. These include current maintenance margin required to support your portfolio, excess liquidity defined as equity with loan value, maintenance margin or the amount of excess cash more than the usual requirement in the account. SMA, which stands for Special Memorandum Account, which is a line of credit created when the market value of securities in a margin account increases in value and buying power. This display enables the user to see their portfolio status and leverage at a glance. Without any positions, the margin requirement is zero. The investor can view the initial long and short and maintenance long and short margin requirements of a particular instrument by going to the full quote detail screen and scrolling down to the margin requirements area. When the investor enters an order, in this example for approximately $30,000, they can go to the preview screen to display the balances section and view the margin matrix. There are three data columns showing data for current, change and post-trade relating to equity with loan, maintenance, initial margin, or the minimum amount needed to open a new position, and finally the position. In this case, the investor is buying a specific number of shares and what the estimated margin impact will be. This is a great first reference point to help the investor compare the margin requirement to the nominal value of shares bought. When ready, slide the bar to send the order. The investor is currently using $30,000 of their equity. Using margin, the investor can add a second position of $30,000 to their portfolio. Repeating the steps above for another equity and check the margin on the preview screen before placing the trade. Let's return to the top of the portfolio screen to see the changes in maintenance margin, excess liquidity, SMA and buying power. Note the reduced value displayed for buying power, since the total of the two positions of approximately $60,000 exceeds the $50,000 net liquidation value. The investor still has buying power, but is now trading with borrowed money from interactive brokers. Having considered equities only to this point, let's add a commodity futures position to the account and measure the impact. The investor can enter the symbol for crude oil and set up the trade just as they did for stocks earlier. Note the margin requirement on the order preview page. When ready, slide to submit. To see greater details, the investor can go into their account area and see their balances, margins and funds for US securities, US commodities or their total portfolio by tapping on the column header. Tap on the Balances tab to see Net Liquidation Value, Net Liquidation Uncertainty, which displays the uncertainty associated with after-hours price changes. Equity with Loan Value. The previous day's equity with loan value, which only applies to equities and is the marginable equity with loan value as of 1600 hours Eastern Time on the previous day. Securities Gross Position Value which also only applies to equities and is the sum of the absolute value of long and short stocks and options. And cash. Tapping on the margins tab shows information for 
Reg T margin, current initial margin, post expiry margin at open, current maintenance margin, projected look ahead initial margin, projected look ahead maintenance margin, projected overnight initial margin, and projected overnight maintenance margin. Remember, for futures positions, the margin requirement is set by the listing exchange. For stocks, the broker determines the amount of margin deployed, which could be a function of liquidity, market capitalization, how concentrated the positions might be in a specific sector. In either case, interactive brokers might charge more than either the futures exchange or other brokers. Tapping on the Funds tab, the investor can see their SMA, buying power, leverage, and other details. Please note that different stocks have different requirements. This is due to several factors, such as market capitalization of the underlying, how volatile it has proven, and what sector it fits into. There are several other factors driving margin requirements, and for more information, please visit the Interactive Brokers website. Thank <laughs> you.